Hello everyone, my name is Zarina Aisha Mirren and welcome to my new video on how to pass the Terraform Associate exam. So before we dig in, I just want to let you know I'm a cloud developer um, at a cloud consulting company, so I had seven months of experience using Terraform before I took the exam. However, if you're new to Terraform, that's fine because today I'm not only going to share the resources that I used, um, before taking the exam, but also some other resources that would help a newbie. So I'm going to start off this video by sharing the study material. So this content will include reading links, um, some of them from the official HashiCorp website. Also, videos if you don't like reading <laughs> so much and of course various practice papers okay so let's start off by taking a look at the links that HashiCorp have on their official website so the first link is their study guide which is it basically just shares shows you their syllabus that they want you to follow for the exam and <clears throat> each section within the syllabus has various links for you to click on and have a good read so you can just have a scroll down and have a look if you then click on the um the exam reviews tab on the left you will also see the same thing basically but in a nice table <clears throat> so once you've read all of the links you can have a look at the table just to make sure you have covered all of the content and also follow the tutorials that they have if you're not into the HashiCorp links because well you should look at them um, but if you want something a little bit more high level in terms of like a summary of what you need to read along with some study notes, then this is a great website uh, that I found on Medium. And it has, again, the syllabus, it outlines the syllabus, but for each section within the syllabus, it has questions along with uh, explanations. So you can use these as study guides. Um, and I found this very useful when I was actually recapping um, the content. So like if you do a control find on some of the common concepts that you need to learn, like Tainted or FMT for formatting, then this is really great. Uh, there's also another site um, that I found. It's kind of like a cheat sheet in the sense that it summarizes everything that you need to know and what i liked about this tutorial well this blog is the fact that it gives you nice diagrams and it kind of explains things in a different way and it's always good to get another perspective of what you are learning so yeah those are the two other websites that i highly recommend for extra reading If you're not into the whole reading thing, because some people just don't like to read, they find it boring, then there are tutorials and video courses for you to watch. And if you go onto the WizLab portal, there is a course on Terraform. Although I haven't taken this course, um, it's 1995, and yeah, I haven't taken this course, but it's there. And I think around 176 people, of 177 actually, have um, taken this course. So it must be good, right? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you thought. Once so you have done the reading or you've watched the videos, you're going to want to test yourself. And so WizLab has a set of questions that Again, you'd need to pay for these, but they're very similar to, well, some of the questions are very similar to the exam. 
um, the only problem is, a, well, not a lot of them, but some of them are poorly written, and the answers are not always correct, which is kind of annoying, but if you look at the bright side of this, it forces you to go out and research and find the true answer for yourself. <laughs> You don't want to use WizLab and you would prefer to use Udemy, they also have um, from various different people questions, practice questions for the Terraform exam. So the one that I used is the one literally displayed on my screen right now, although at the time um, when I purchased this it was around Black Friday, the Black Friday time, so I got this for free. And it consists of 100 questions, so two different exams. And again, these questions are similar to the actual exam in terms of structure. So I would recommend this. It also has good explanations. The link that is actually very useful from HashiCorp is the sample questions webpage. So all of the links for the websites that I am showing in this video are referenced in the description below. And on this particular web page, you will be able to see the different types of questions. So it's not a shock when you take the actual real exam. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's Boolean questions, there's multiple choice, there's also questions for filling in and missing a code um, snippet. And once you are ready to take the exam, if you scroll down, you will see a link which takes you to a different portal called the PSI portal and you will need GitHub credentials to actually access that portal. Okay, so when you log into the PSI portal, you will be able to schedule your exam. And once you've booked the exam, you cannot, you can only reschedule it, um, well, 48 hours before the exam is literally the cutoff. So if you miss that, then you're going to have to take the exam. There are 57 questions and you have 60 minutes to take the exam. It doesn't tell you, so they don't tell you what the pass, uh, the passing criteria is. So I would suggest, um, you know, making sure you get at least 90% in all of the practice questions before taking the real exam. And the exam costs around $70. You can take the exam online and um, in terms of you know, your ID, you could use your passport or a driving license. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, I didn't find the exam too difficult and the reason why is because it's one of those exams where they tell you, hey, this is the material that you need to run through and you should be fine and they actually mean it. So there's no hidden surprises where you have to read, I don't know, like 500 pieces of documentation from HashiCorp. So it's a nice exam, and as long as you prepare for it using the material that they have suggested, and also practice questions, go for the practice questions, they help, then you should be fine.